A reminder that we also need to bear, obey our conventions around the order of operations when we're dealing with negative numbers. So we use the kind of word bed mass to help us remember um, and that we deal with stuff in the brackets first and then we deal with exponents and then we deal with division and multiplication they're at the same level and we deal with addition and subtraction at the very last level. So if we're faced with having to do a calculation like this the first thing we're going to do is to do that multiplication there, 4 multiplied by negative 3. And so what we're going to get is we're going to get 5 plus 4 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 12. And then here we're adding in a negative, so that's just the same as subtracting. And 5 subtract 12 is going to be negative 7. OK, let's deal with this one. So we do have some brackets with an operation inside them here. So that's the very first step we need to do. 2 subtract 3 is equal to negative 1. Now the next step that I need to do is to look and see if there are any exponents to deal with. And I do have exponents here. What's negative 5 squared? Well, it's negative 5 multiplied by negative 5. A negative times a negative is a positive, and 5 times 5 is 25. So this is 25. Now what's my next step? I look to see if I've got any division or multiplication, and I do have some division and multiplication. That's over here. So this is the multiplication. 25 multiplied by negative 2 that's going to give me negative 50. OK, and so what do I have? I'm adding a negative, so it's just subtracting. And now all I have is addition and subtraction, so I simply work from left to right. So negative 1 subtract 50. That's negative 1 going even further down, so it's going to be negative 51. But then coming back up four steps, so it's going to be negative. 47.